let me just throw out the really fast. Whenever I say fears, I don't mean like, ew, I don't like that. Like, uh, some people don't like bugs. They say they're afraid of bugs, but they're really just like, ew, and they'll avoid it. These fears are like, they trigger anxiety attacks. And, um, so I just want to go ahead and say that really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and get started into all my fears. Most cliche fears is spiders. And I'm not kidding whatever I say. I am deathly afraid of spiders. I see the smallest spider and I start crying, literally. Um, I seen a spider every day for four days. It made me stop gardening. I don't go into my mom's basement anymore. And, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I started crying. I ran upstairs and I was bawling. I was like, Mom, why does life hate me? I've seen spiders every day. And I'm, I was like bawling. I see a spider, I'm gonna scream. I don't care. They are the scariest freaking things ever. Like, I don't care if they're alive. Alive? I don't think they're alive. But I will smash those suckers. Because they're just... There's a reason I dust my house every day. Because I don't like spiders. They're disgusting. Another fear of mine is having something wrong with my brain. I really love my brain. Um, I do brain exercises often. I try to remember as many facts as I can. My brain is a very quick learner. I find the human brain so fascinating, but I really am terrified of something that will come in and ruin my brain and like my memory worse than what it is. I have epilepsy and I, um, that gives me a lot of memory issues and time loss issues, but I mean, I guess what I'm talking about is like something like a tumor or a stroke, like something where it like completely corrupts the way my brain works, because I do have like um, another like illness, I guess if you want to call it, that does kind of like affect my brain and the way I see things, and uh, it's not something that I'm open to talk about on YouTube yet. But I'm just terrified of those things getting worse. Um, I already can't drive because of my epilepsy and my anxiety attacks. And uh, the other thing that I, I'm not really open to talk about yet, um, I cannot imagine that getting worse, and I know it could get worse. The dark. Um, I have a lot of I have a lot of anxiety attacks in the dark. I cannot like. Dennis and I had so many complications when we first started sleeping in the same bed because I have to have some kind of light on because the dark just scares me. I don't like I don't like being in the dark. It scares me. I can't do it. I start um, you know seeing shadows and stuff. Um, my mind plays tricks on me all the time in the dark, and I just I don't like it. I get very paranoid and anxious and. Um, is like I'm terrified of losing people. The reason that Dennis and I are in counseling therapy is because I am still having trouble with letting him in and we've been married and together for a while now. But after I lost my dad when I was 13, I had issues with letting people in and it uh, used to disrupt Dennis and I's relationship. We'd get really close and then I would push him away. And I used to do it with my kids too. I mean like nothing like, I hate you. But I would mentally, like, detach myself, because I cannot imagine losing Dennis or, you know, losing one of my kids, because, like, it was hard enough losing my dad, and so I've purposely not gotten close to anyone just because of that fear. I'm scared to death to lose my cat, um, and I know that might sound so stupid, but, um, I'll, I'll have to tell you guys this mine and kitty story because it's something else, but we came so close to losing him and that was the scariest day of my life. Um, he may be just a cat to you guys, but you guys, whenever you guys hear our story, you'll understand a little bit more. Okay, another one, which is gonna like freak me out, just talk about it because it's nighttime out, but I believe in aliens, like I, I fully, I fully believe in aliens and I'm like, Ugh, alien shows, they don't freak me out at first, but whenever I go to bed, I start thinking about it, and I, like, think about it, like, I can watch, I can't, I can't watch, but if I do watch, like, ancient aliens or something, I'll 
think about that episode for days. The last one I'm going to say <clears throat> is the one that I kind of debated on because it's kind of controversial for me to say it, but I'm really afraid for people to know who I am. So <laughs> whenever I'm afraid of something, like really afraid of something, I do measures to avoid it happening. So like with YouTube especially, I'm afraid of getting like a ton of followers. I'm terrified or subscribers or whatever you call it. I'm scared. I don't I don't want a ton of subscribers in a sense because I don't know. I've watched too much criminal minds. And uh <laughs> So sometimes I catch myself putting out really crappy quality videos because I, I want to make sure I don't gain any more subscribers and that's something that in 2015 I'm going to work on.